Well, DeFelsco Corporation is a family business uh, formed around 1966. We design, manufacture, and sell a variety of paint test equipment. Well, paint thickness gauges go by a number of different names, uh, DFT, dry film thickness gauges, coating thickness gauges. They use a variety of principles of operation depending on what exactly it is you're measuring. Let me start by explaining how a magnetic principle works. A magnetic principle is based on a magnet. The thicker the coating, the easier it is to pull a magnet off that painted surface. So if it's very difficult to pull, then the paint must be thin. And a magnetic gauge electronically measures magnetic density and does the same thing. An eddy current principle is almost the same, except it uses a coil of wires to determine how far away the probe of the instrument is from the metal surface underneath the paint. And an ultrasonic principle works much like sonar or radar. It non-destructively sends an ultrasonic pulse through the paint, it reflects off the surface, and we just time how long did it take. So let's take a look at this 308 Ferrari. It's an older model to see what its paintwork status is. You take the instrument, you hold it low, put it down on the surface, it will automatically turn on and give you a thickness reading. In this case, 13.5 with an N, meaning it's non-ferrous or non-steel. It's an aluminum hood. I move over a few inches to the steel fender and notice the thickness jumps to 20 mils. So an indication perhaps of some paintwork having been done on these two body parts. Let's move down to the inside of this door fender to get a better idea of what the original factory paint might have looked like. Inside this door jam, we can get an indication of perhaps what the factory paint thickness was, 6.4 mils. I'll flip the display, I'll read on the panel just outside, and I get 15.2 mils, an indication that there's been some sort of paint work done here. Let's move back and take a final look over an area that typically might have some work done. I'll take a thickness reading up here, and I get a thickness of 19.4 mils. And as I move around the area, it jumps as much as 6.3 mils. Again, an area perhaps for further investigation. Now I did talk to Peter, and this is an original paint color, but it has indeed been repainted.